online video games here. I'm playing Fling Smash for the Wii. It came with a Wii Motion Plus remote. I got it for um eight dollars. It came with two AA batteries, the um game new and it was eight dollars the best by the Wii Motion Plus remote. It usually costs forty plus tax, so nearly forty four if you buy buy sell, but however if you purchase it with Fling Smash as part of the Best Buy deal of the day you get you can purchase it for eight dollars and it comes as a game and two double A batteries and it comes as a rubber um case that can be put on the plastic and it also came with free shipping so eight dollars plus tax so nearly nine dollars and um like I was saying for the Wii there's enough in the my prior past videos there's enough of an incentive to purchase a Wii there's enough good games for the Wii that um do not force motion controls they have the option of using motion controls but you can use a game controller such as Mario Kart Wii, Naruto, Shippuden Kash the Ninja Revolution 3, TMNT Smash Em Up, that's another one, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, even though it's a huge degrade in Melee, Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, so I just listed six games I'd use a game controller. Also, why get a second rear mode? Well, when I play House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns, I need another controller in order to be able to execute double the damage and I usually use a perfect shot when I play that game but now I can have my um, regular re re remote on the perfect shot and uh, my Wii Motion Plus remote so I could aim with the TV and have double the DPS now the Wii remote the Wii, Mo the Wii remote I think works well for um, games that are meant to be played with motion controls such as the house and the two and three returns. Why is that game meant to be played with motion controls? If you played it in an arcade, you put on the TV and shoot. And that's a game that essentially uses motion controls in the arcade and you can bring that experience home because the Wii remote utilizes motion controls to, um, I guess you could say, target the TV and by tapping A or Z or B or whatever button you use to shoot, you can execute it and attack towards the zombies that are in the game so how does that work well because it's the same it's identical to the it's very similar to the house of the dead 2 and 3 returns experience that you could expect to get in an arcade now i have a problem with games that force motion controls that are completely ruined by motion controls because motion controls are inaccurate or inaccurate i think the word is inaccurate or and unprecise or imprecise is the word is imprecise but um well, if it is unprecise, and I mean unprecise, so inaccurate and unprecise, or inaccurate and inaccurate and um, imprecise. This thing is unprecise, so inaccurate and unprecise. But why is this the problem with the weird mode? You got to you got to wiggle it, you got to jiggle it, you got to move it up and down, you got to move it sideways, and it doesn't clearly detect your movement. So when you're trying to execute. A specific move. If you tap A in a game, you pr practically jump every time. Very um, accurate. However, if you have to shake it right and left, and it's not detecting your shaking it's shaking in a specific way. It's not as accurate as just tapping the A button. You're not as accurate as a mouse, though. So that completely ruins the gameplay experience. And there's no excuse they couldn't implement a game controller in a game like Sky Resort or the Donkey Kong game for the Wii or Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So, or even Mario Brothers or Super Mario Galaxy's games that have the potential to be fantastic or ruined because they do not utilize the game controller. I mean, there's games for the PC that allow you to use a controller where you can manually configure which buttons execute what specific actions. For example, if you were playing a game on the PC, you could customize, let's just say, the A button to jump. So they could have, they didn't want to take the minute to, I guess you could say, have a layout for their game controller for these games for the Wii. They could have just had the option to insert a game controller and then manually customize your what buttons do what when you use a game controller and there's no excuse as they could have added a game controller. So Skyward Sword, you want a quick review gets a quick review gets a zero to ten. No option is a game controller on the Wii the Wii Motion Plus remote with force motion controls is very unprecise and inaccurate. Or I guess you could say unaccurate and imprecise. It's either unaccurate or inaccurate or unprecise or imprecise. It's probably unaccurate and imprecise. But the whole point of getting that though, it, it just the controls are very sloppy, and because of that, you cannot do what you want to do, just because the controls do not work. So, 
Skyward Sword gets a 0 out of 10. Super Mario Galaxy gets a 0 out of 10. Donkey Kong gets a 0 out of 10. I mean, they have potential to be great games. It's just the controls completely ruined. If you want to play a Donkey Kong game, play like the Donkey Kong Country Returns game on your Super Nintendo. If you want to play a Mario Brothers game, hook up the Nintendo 64 and play Super Mario Galaxies. I mean, sorry, Super Mario 64. You can also play the rebooted version of that one where you can play as Wario or Luigi on your, um, or Yoshi on your DS. Or you could play Super Mario Sunshine, which is a good game as well. If you want to play the Kirby game, play Crystal Shores for Nintendo 64. And, um, if you want to play a Zelda game, just play Ocarina of Time. When he's the GameCube in the Nintendo 64. Alright, so, um, why do, well, how does the Wii Remote work for a game like House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns? It's a real shooter. 100% real shooter. You never have to move. You just point at the TV and then you shoot. That's all you do. So that's why it works so, because it's a, it can't be anymore. Basically, it only has, I guess you could say, two different actions. Shoot and reload and aim. And since there's no movement motion controls work. Now, would I rather play that with a game control? How's the Dead 2 and 3 returns? No, because I'd prefer to, I think it'd be faster to aim with the Wii Remote than to aim with the GameCube controller for a rift shooter. I think the Wii Remote, I think your arm can move faster than your thumb can move when you're aiming. All right, let's continue. This game, you don't need to swing hand, you won't move any faster, just swing with precision, okay? Alright, let's go. So, I'm swinging if you swing the Wii Remote when the hero is glowing. It will activate a powerful super shot, but I see you're already on top of that. Keep up that pace! Exclamation mark. I'm not excited. Oh, and here's one more important detail. You can press A or 1 and stop the hero in midair. Well done. Alright, so it's like a pinball game. We're going up and down and right and left and back and forward and up and down and right and left and back and forward and up and down and right and left and back and forward. Come on, go, 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 go down. But wait, what's that? There's more with the show. Ah. Uh oh, it's Pikachu's brother. The blue eyes red dragon. The huge monster coming. Have, get a, have a heart attack. Oh my god, he's so scary. Watch out behind you. I thought he was in front of me. Oh my god. It looks like it looks like a three headed dragon from the Chinese New Year. Or a blue eyes white dragon's brother. The rejected Yu Gi Oh card. That's the same Fusion Hydro Call of Legend or well, Legend. It's been unleashed on the island to try and stop you. As if I give a shell. I am tasty, just like a marshmallow. If you fall behind the Hydrocoil will catch up and eat you. Yeah, it's probably more interesting the Hydrocoil than playing this piece of shell game. Stay tuned for the next part. Online video games out.